Hi, I'm Jer. Welcome to Kill Devil, where we focus on rum and cocktails. Today, we're going to make the Caipirinha. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. In either case, don't forget to like if you enjoy what you're seeing, and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on anything that I do. As always, timestamps are down below if you just want the recipe. Otherwise, here's some history. Caipirinha is a national beverage of Brazil. Apparently they have more than one national beverage, and this is one of them. I don't know how many they really have, but apparently they're a thirst, thirsty bunch down there. In any case, the earliest record we have of the Caipirinha actually comes from Portugal in 1918, where it was used as a cold medicine. It used alcohol, lemon juice, honey, and garlic. None of those things are in the modern Caipirinha. So how did that name become this name? I don't know. Modern caipirinha, as made in Brazil, uses three ingredients. And if you don't use these three ingredients, you're not making a caipirinha. It uses cachaça, it uses granulated sugar, and it uses whole limes. The modern caipirinha is also defined by how it's made. If you don't make it the traditional way, some would say you're not making a caipirinha at all. A note on the rum. A caipirinha must be made with cachaça, which is a Brazilian style of rum made with raw sugarcane juice. If you're not using cachaça, you are not making caipirinha. You're making something else. However, you can get a close approximation of a caipirinha using rum agricole. However, still not a caipirinha. Enough. Let's get on to the recipe. The first thing we're going to do to make this drink is to cut up a lime. Now, different recipes will specify a different number of limes. Anywhere from half of a lime up to two limes. Partially, it depends on how sour you want it. Partially depends on how large your limes are, and partially depends on how much work you want to put in. Personally, I use about one lime because my limes are about this size. And how big is this? Good guess. Good question. We're going to cut it up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the ends off. So we're going to cut the top off, and we're going to cut the bottom off. And the goal is to get rid of the white pith. So I'm going to make a second cut right there to get a little bit more of that gone, because the pith is what contains the bitterness. Next, uh, see, see that bottom, top and bottom? Next, we're going to cut it lengthwise in half. So you can see the spine running up through the center, right? Then into quarters. Now, this next step is optional, and that is removing the core pith. I like doing that, so I'm going to do that right now, and you can laugh at my knife skills. There we go. Now all four of these are going to go into our low ball glass. Ta -da. Wash my fingers. Next, granulated sugar. And the granulation is important because you're going to use the sugar to help pull the oils out of the skins. Different recipes, again, call for different amounts. It's anywhere from half a teaspoon up to four teaspoons. And that depends on how sour you want it, how sweet you want it, how much juice you put in from the, or how many limes you put in. Um, a lot of variables. Personally, I find four teaspoons is way too much because it ends up with a sugar sludge at the bottom. So unless you like sugar sludge, don't do that much. For this much, or for a, a one lime, I find two teaspoons to be about right. So two teaspoons, which is 10 milliliters. From there, we're going to muddle it. And the goal is not to crush it to a pulp, but to release the juice and the oils from the, from the skin. Okay, I think that's good. Now, I'm going to get some ice. Ice in hand, three or four ice cubes into the glass. In this case, I'm thinking I'm going to put three. From here, cachaça. All recipes said two ounces, which is 60 milliliters. Oh, a little bit more than two ounces. You'll have to forgive me. 
Now to give it a stir. Garnish. I've seen caipirinhas used or garnished with a stalk of sugarcane. I do not have access to sugarcane right now, so I'm going to skip the garnish, and honestly, I think that looks lovely as it is. So here it is, the caipirinha made the traditional way. Drink with good spirits.